Okay, so that's quite clear. So we have exponential DCA case right now. And so let's let's continue with finding the B ARPS exponent and the initial decline rate. Okay, so I will use this one. Don't worry, I will recreate this one from zero. I just want to move my plots here so we can be more focused. Okay. I will keep this one here. Okay, let's make a new one. All right, so I will erase this one first. Okay. All right. Like this. So we have actual flow rate and cumulative oil. Now I want to know the initial decline rate. Actually for the exponent, it's already clear. B is zero because it's exponential decline, right? So B must be zero. So it's very easy. We just need to find the initial decline rate. Okay, so I prepare predicted flow rate here and the error between the predicted and the actual flow rate. So if I borrow this equation and put it here, okay, or maybe to be more practical, actually I just need this one. Okay, so it's actually, yeah, if I can borrow this one. Okay, now I need QI, exponential or initial rate, and initial rate here equals to 1000. Okay, initial flow rate is 1000. I put on this cell equals initial decline rate, initial rate, I mean. Okay, and of course the error is the predicted one minus the actual one divided by the actual one multiplied by 100 because it's, it's in percent. Zero error because the same. Now we, we will create the predicted the next month. Q, the flow rate on this month is the initial decline, initial flow rate. Okay, and then I press the dollar because we will use this initial flow rate again and again. Okay, and then multiplied by the exponent EXP, open parenthesis, minus the initial decline rate. Okay, something here, H4, multiplied by the time. But here, my time is simpler because I use in month. So I move per, per one month. So my time is one. Okay, my time is one. So I just, I, I don't need to calculate it with anything because it's multiplied by one because I move per month, per one month. Actually, it's like this, but be careful, my decline rate here is in a year. So usually in day-to-day -day basis, maybe you use decline rate per in per year basis. So that's more usual, that's more popular to be used, decline rate in terms of per year. So I have that here. So the, the that, that value should be divided with 12 because from year I want to use it for per month. So the decline rate in per year divided by 12. So it's like this, okay? And I can just double click here. We still get 1000 because it's still empty. 
So let's just start with a random value. Let's say my decline rate is 10% per year. Okay, let's enter. By the way, it should be kept also, kept constant. And again, here. Okay. And then I want to make the plot. So it's actual versus predicted. So flow rate. The first one is, or not this one. So I call this actual. X is in month. And then the Y axis actual flow rate. Okay. And the next one, right click, select data, add predicted. So now I use this one, the same, the same time, same series X, but different Y axis because it's now it's predicted. Okay. All right. 